What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Move In Vlog number four. It's your girl, Mariah Perry, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new here, make sure you guys check out my previous moving vlogs, one, two, and three. I just graduated in May. I'm 24 years old, got a career in my field, and I moved into my very first apartment, and I've been documenting the process, so be sure to check out those videos before you tune into this one. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below hope you guys enjoy y'all i'm in pop shelf i wanted to come here to get a throw blanket for the couch and they have some that are ten dollars decorative throw i like this color It's cheaper than Home Goods. The ones at Home Goods is like $16.99. They got some more. This one's $10. It's more like a fleece, fleece kind. I'm at Pop Shelf getting some things for the apartment for the low. Let me show y'all some things they got. If y'all don't, if y'all have never been to Pop Shelf before, I wanted to see if they had like some Christmas. Decorations to put on the stove. But it doesn't seem like they do. I checked the Christmas section. Debating if I'm gonna get a Christmas tree. I need a can opener, so I'm gonna get a can opener. This is four dollars. It's cheaper than what they probably have at um, Walmart, to be honest. Y'all, they got strainers. I just got a gray one for two dollars. I'm probably gonna show y'all everything I get when I get home. I'm back from the store, pop shelf, and I went to Total Wine to get a bottle of wine as well. So, like I said, pop shelf is really nice. They have a lot of good quality items for the low. Um, kind of reminds me of Five Below, but obviously everything isn't five below and the quality is a little bit better so i got a strainer a little cheap plastic strainer this was two dollars the speaker this was 15. had to get a can opener for canned vegetables and stuff i really feel like i got a good deal at pop shelf because something like this at walmart would have been way too much probably like six dollars so that one was four and then I got a throw blanket that would be perfect to go on the couch because when I'm laying on the couch, I like to be cozy. That's basically all that I got. <laughs> Two more ones. This is a nice size throw, I feel like. It's cute. Nothing fancy, I'm just gonna throw it on here. Ta -da. <laughs> That's that. Doing a voiceover since Ross wants to blast Mariah Carey. This is the day after I went shopping at Pop Shelf. The same day I walked um, next door to Ross and found this rug. But the line was just too long, so I was like, let me come back tomorrow morning, early in the morning, which is now, and they still had it, so I got it. I made it back home. I'm about to put the rug out so y'all can see what it looks like. So you already know what the couch looks like, which is why I got this rug. It's kind of like a marble design, and it's gray, and I feel like it matches perfectly with the color of the rug. So here's what it's looking like. I think it's nice. 
and neutral and goes with the vibe. I need to get some things that will keep the corners down, like some, some rug tape. Hey y'all, I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. To y'all, it probably isn't that long because obviously you're watching a video, but long time picking up the camera. Thanksgiving has passed. I am currently getting ready to go to Ikea with Stephanie just to do some browsing. I don't think I'm going to be buying anything, but I know that she is um, purchasing, I think, a dresser or a desk for her apartment because she's getting ready to do some big things in her life and I have never been to Ikea before so I'm looking forward to the experience. Um, yeah, I'm not getting dressed and all that. Some other news is my TV is here. I ordered a TV on Thursday night. No, I ordered my TV the night, was it Thursday night? Yeah, the day before Black Friday I ordered a TV. I got a 50 inch TCL 4K. TV and and I also have my TV stand from Wayfair being delivered today So once I get back from Ikea, we can do some unboxing. I'm really excited about having my TV It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but we can talk about that a little bit later But right now let's go ahead and leave for Ikea. My outfit of the day really isn't all that just a hoodie from um, Pretty Little Thing and some pink leggings. They're not pink. They're the brand pink. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, but yeah I really want to change this lighting. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear my hair in a ponytail or in a bun. I think I might just do the ponytail because it doesn't matter. Yeah, guys, I'm so excited about my TV. Like, I've been in here for a lit almost about to be two months. And I've been rocking off of my iMac and my laptop. But I'm just excited to just chill on my couch and watch TV. If you guys haven't seen the video where I got my couch, make sure y'all check that out. And I think I showed y'all the rug already. That's in this vlog, so yeah. Um, Next clip, you guys will see me at Ikea probably. All right, you gotta say hey. Hey, y'all. All right, y'all, we made it to Ikea. Hmm, fancy. I like this, but I don't like that it's brown. Oh, okay. I would want it to be black. That's 75. The same. That's the reason why I didn't get one of the desks. Yeah. Either you're going to be brown, not no black brown. This is a lot. Ooh. Is this marble? Yeah, it is. No, look at it. Y'all, Ikea is cool. I like it. So the goal for today is for Stephanie to get her desk. So it's either this one. Let me show you the other one. Okay. That chair is nice too. That is isn't. Oh my gosh. Well, this one is the one I'm probably going to get in white. Yeah. Because that is not black. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, and it won't take up too my, space. Throw my books down here. Yeah. And your little pencils, yeah. hair ties. Not too much space. The Mickey desk. Mm-hmm. I want something that I, I mean, I, I want both of them. Yeah. Either one of them. My, my, my. Shoot. How much is this white one? They don't have no back support. 145. <laughs> right, no back support. Just a whole bunch of booty. <laughs> All their beds are kind of low. Yeah. I like to be high up. Yeah. Kind of like studio vibes. Oh yeah. And oh, see. It has yeah. See, something like this doesn't need a box ring. Yeah. Yeah, the drawers are nice. So this is perfect for small spaces. I would probably look into this Wait. too. My TV stand has arrived. I'm getting ready to put it together. 
The box was kind of heavy. I had to bring it upstairs by myself, but we got it up here. Shout out to my strong arms. I still did not open the TV. I'm not gonna open the TV until I have the TV stand set up. But yeah, let's go ahead and get it done. Also, as for Ikea, Stephanie ended up getting the smaller desk that I showed you guys. And like I said, that was my first time in Ikea. I think it was a pretty cool experience, but I feel like a lot of the furniture pieces, such as the beds and the couches, quality just seems a little low to me for the prices that they have in there. Some of the prices are really nice, but some of the items are overpriced. So I don't know. I would have to go in there and want something specifically, but I was considering getting a dresser. I'm still not sure. Getting a dresser from Ikea, I'm still not sure. But we'll see, but that's my review of Ikea for now. Yeah. Leave me out of comments, leave me out of nonsense. Speaking out of context, people need some content. Niggas trying to keep up, shit is not a contest. Whipping Ben's concept, heaven sent, God sent. At least that's what my mom says. Proof is in the progress, money's not an object. Busy than a motherfucker, you know how my job get. Barking up the wrong tree, you know how the dogs get. Haven't fallen off yet. Come with a classic, they come around years later and say it's a sleeper. The ears are real, the petty is real. I try to ask for a feature. So I'm about to start building, but I have a slight conflict, which is I do not have a Phillips screwdriver. So before I go to the store, I want to see if I'm able to build this without a screwdriver. I'm going to try because I really don't feel like going to the store. Um, but yeah, we'll see how far I get. I let her spin, she got the leather tennis I took her out to eat, I took her out to Venice She always call me baby, drunky, drunky, I don't me Sometimes my power back and down, tip the phone and hit it I'm touching down in your city just to get it Better check the power up, we in it, trippy, throw a 50 Wanna be the ghost, can't get too close Shoulda be doing the most, why ain't but a rock and roll oh, Send the scum, you going down screwdriver except I need one for this right here y'all see that screw it's just way too small for my screwdriver and I don't want to mess up my brand new knives that I got I have to show you guys those later but yeah just this front piece that needs to be screwed on with those small screwdrivers and then it's good to go for the TV. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to the store to get a screwdriver because I'd like to chill on the couch tonight. I currently have I currently have the TV stand standing up without those four screws. I'm going to unbox the TV. However, I'm not gonna put the TV on here until 
I have this TV stand secure because I don't want this to break down and my TV fall and I'm screwed. I really like this TV stand because it's small. It doesn't take up a lot of space, not to mention I'm in an apartment. If I were to move next year, I want to be doing, I wouldn't say I'm gonna be doing heavy lifting, but you know, I just don't want big, big pieces of furniture because I am renting, but I still want my apartment to still look nice. So, I feel like this is a pretty nice size TV stand. It holds up to 55 inches. Like I said, it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is great because this wall is kind of small compared to the wall that my couch is on. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the couch is obviously a little bit longer than this wall that the TV will be in front of. So it's a little bit off center because this wall is smaller. But that's okay because this TV stand is perfect. It's It doesn't take up a lot of space. And like I said, it still looks good. Um, with that being said, I will not be mounting my TV mainly because I just don't want to go through the hassle of having someone come in here to mount the TV, ordering the supplies. I think it would be just fine sitting on top of the TV stand. I'm so happy to finally have the TV in here because Sometimes it just gets really boring and quiet in here and sometimes I just want like background noise to listen to or just a movie playing in the background if I'm working from home. Looks like this is staple. Duh, Mariah. Okay. Here's the remote. I'm literally so excited, y'all. More screws. Oh my gosh. So I have the TV on its stands. It's looking like I need to change my battery. One second. What we're about to do is turn it on for the first time. All right. Whew, girl. My back hurts, honey. Oh, I have a TV. Hello friends. Mm. I don't got no more chapstick, y'all. Look, I'm fighting for my life to get some out of here. I actually did a pickup order at Walmart. Again, I keep saying I'm gonna go to Aldi, but never do. But I honestly did not feel like walking around the grocery store. So hence the reason why I did a pickup order, but Here's an update. I finally got my TV set up and situated. At first I was running through setup issues with connecting to my Wi-Fi, but I ended up figuring it out. Last thing I need to do on the TV stand is where you guys see those screws. It came with these white stickers where I can cover them up. So I'm gonna do that. But other than that, the TV is up and running, honey. And I am just so happy to have a TV. I'm supposed to be going to the bank today, but depending on my workload, what work will determine if I get to go to the bank. Um, and tonight I'm making a hella fresh dinner so you guys will get to see me cook later tonight. So that's exciting. I'm gonna be able to try a new meal. But yeah, other than that, other than that, nothing big is going on right now, but... Oh, I want to get a Christmas tree, but I don't know when I'm going to get that. I don't know. Not sure if y'all can tell the difference now, but the stickers have been placed, and now it just looks 
more seamless and clean without the nails and the hardware showing. I'm currently watching the World Cup on TV, but because I'm getting sleepy, I think it's best that I go ahead and go pick up my groceries since they are ready because once I get tired, it's a wrap. I really hope U.S. wins. freezer is looking like I already showed y'all what I got the freezer is more full than the fridge granted the freezer is smaller than the fridge but here's an overview and I'm making my HelloFresh meal tonight I also got some more hygiene products because I was running low so yeah 